What's up guys? I am Bryce and um I forgot that I was recording so yeah and I've seen the blue tape. Uh I got the Easter egg and stuff. I was recording this my mic was like off and stuff so yeah. So we'll watch that again. You guys probably already saw stuff. Guys, with my teeth here, I saw I'm just hiding this. I'm hiding my mouth with the mic, right? So I believe the reason is like, I remember, like, What's up guys? I am Bryce and um I forgot that I was recording so yeah and I've seen the blue tape uh I got the Easter egg and stuff I was recording this my mic was like off and stuff so yeah so we'll watch that again You guys probably already saw stuff.
Tief hier ist so um das Heilendes. Am Heilen mal im Mouth of the Mic. So I believe the reason is like, I remember like. Wait, no. Mommy, how do you spell guys again? And I'm Wooly. to help her. Will you please? Won't you help? Won't you help the lovely kitten? Won't you help the lovely kitten? Won't you help the lovely She does have a fries for you, but you'll have to turn around. No, oh, heck, no, nah. you just said that in a very creepy way. Uh, hello, peekaboo. Oh, this? No, wait, <gasps> what? Wait. out there. Somewhere. So Amanda's out there somewhere. So we got another comment from Scar that says, Hey yo, Corey, here's an ending you miss and how to get to it. During What's the Family tape, you're supposed to use the little weather toy every time you get a weather warning. I'm gonna get to that tape. I'll see y'all in a second. Here's another thing I read in the comments. Yesterday, do y'all remember when, um... Do you know what the daddy is called? <laughs> Amanda says something like, What's the daddy called? And then, you know... I wrote my name, but God said if you write Sam, her actual dad's name, something else. All right. G. Gut is like G U T S. Is that right? G U T S. 
Oh, where's the G? Okay, G. I'm Wooly. Ba. Wooly just made an animal sound. He said ba because he is a sheep. Wait, what did you say? How do you? Where should we go? Oh! I think it's time to visit the sheep. <laughs> can you tell me where we can find? I don't want to play this game no more. I I, wow. I don't want to play this game. It's been three weeks since local television producer Sam Colton was reported missing, and authorities still have no leads. Colton is the creator of Amanda the Adventurer, the public access children's educational program that became a huge hit among area children. But with Colton's disappearance, the future of the show remains unclear. Last year, Hamlin Entertainment purchased rights to the live-action program starring Colton's daughter, Rebecca. As budget and production value increased, Hamlin reimagined the show as an animated series, planning to syndicate the program nationally. Hamlin's acquisition of the program and Colton's recent disappearance have raised some eyebrows. And to further fuel these concerns, new episodes of Amanda the Adventurer have had subject matter that has left local parents uncomfortable about the program. My kids are still really into that show, but it has changed. I mean, I walked in the other day and Amanda was talking about how mommies and daddies aren't always right. I mean, what is that? That's not something you tell impressionable kids. I had to change the channel. I just told the kids that the TV was acting up. It's not yet clear how Colton's disappearance will affect the involvement of his daughter, Rebecca, the show's young star. We reached out to Hamlin Entertainment for an interview. While representatives declined to comment, they did release a written statement. We at Hamlin have concerns surrounding the nature of Sam Colton's abandonment of both our program and his daughter. We cannot speculate on his reasons for leaving. We do ask that the community respect the privacy of Rebecca Colton as she needs time out of the spotlight to process these disturbing events. For the time being, Rebecca's local appearances have been canceled, including the Kensdale Public Library fundraiser, Wooly's Readathon this Saturday evening. Rest assured that Amanda is not going anywhere. Hamlin Entertainment remains committed to our vision for this cherished program. Despite this statement, authorities have not drawn any conclusions about the nature of Sam Colton's disappearance. We will share any future updates as the story develops. When we return, we'll check in with Zappo, the talking gerbil. It's me, your friend, Skip, and with me, as always, is my trusty dog, Chip. You sound just like me. The thunderstorm goes... There are lots of animals here to pet and play with. It's fun to spend time with animals. They are very different from people. They look different and they don't talk like people. Amanda, I'm an animal and I- Animals don't talk, silly. Look at these signs. Let's make sounds like the animals on the signs. Are you ready? Having a family is nice. I see a mommy chicken and baby chickens, and I see, I see a daddy chicken. Look at the chickens! Do you know what the daddy is called? No, that's not what they're called. Try again. The 
tornado goes. Wanna go near Blizzard, 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 glizzard, glizzy. Oh! Oh! Ho, ho. Nobody to love. This kitten is alone. There is no. Why does it make me watch this tape again? I can. I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. What's that smell? <laughs> what do you think is making that bad smell? I don't know. Eee-you! You're right! Do you know what the opposite of alive is? Look at the tree stump! If it's not alive, what is it? Dead. I don't think we should be talking about this. Are you afraid to think about it? <laughs> Dead is the opposite of alive. Good job! <laughs> when an animal dies, it rots too. It looks like this kitten is in big trouble. It might die before anyone can help it. Should we help the kitten? the right this isn't the candy store there is nothing here that I want maybe you can take us someplace else I want to get my friend a special treat I want to get my friend a special treat let me out of here oh Amanda that's that's a nice birthday card. Do you want to give it to your friend now? Will you address the card? I don't think it's their birthday. The card is for someone really cute. Gosh, I guess you really forgot. Oh, Willie, it's your birthday.
Welcome to Coffee Break. Today I'm talking with Sam Colton, the creator of the hit kids show, Amanda the Adventurer. And I have to say, a fantastic studio neighbor. Thanks for having me on the show, Sadie. You're a pretty good studio neighbor yourself. Though, I'm going to gain 50 pounds if you keep stocking the kitchen with those delicious homemade cookies. You can't have a coffee break without cookies. Cookies? Sam, last year you started producing Amanda the Adventurer right here in the studio. The whole town loves it. Did you even imagine that would be such a big sensation? Honestly, Sadie, no. <laughs> it was a total surprise. I mean, it's scrappy at best. You know how it is when you have a big idea and a little budget. I don't know if I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Kids don't really care about that, though. They see the heart. And boy, does your show have a big heart. You know, I really have to thank our local librarian, Miss Kate, for being such a champion of the project. I think she's talked about it at every single story time. I think it's just so rare nowadays for kids' shows to be so much fun, but also really teach kids something, isn't it? Mm -hmm. What inspired you to create Amanda? I wanted to create a show that teaches children that our world is a magical place, that there are little adventures waiting around every corner in their very own neighborhood. The show is a celebration of kids' imaginations. But really, it's all Rebecca. As soon as I met my beautiful daughter, the inspiration was there. You know, she was so young when I adopted her. And despite what she's gone through, she's always seen the world with such kindness and joy. She's the light of my life. And it makes me so happy to share that light with our community. She really is something special. Watching her perform is simply delightful. I mean, the whole show is just so cute. Thank you, Sadie. Do you see big things happening with Amanda the Adventurer? I've actually had some people approach me about it. They want to turn Amanda into a cartoon. I can't really talk about it yet, but it's exciting. It feels like a dream, the idea of welcoming even more kids into this wild, creative world. It feels like my little show could really have a big impact. That's incredible. <laughs> Sam, thanks so much for having a coffee break with me today. Our community is so lucky to have you. And Rebecca. On our next coffee break, floral arrangements for all occasions, featuring the newest addition to our neighborhood, Rose Matthews of Rose's Bouquet. Until then, may your coffee always be steaming and the conversation sparkling. Are you going to go? And you'll see me doing everything I'll be my last first time to see one of those I'm going to I can't do it. Delicious. Today we're going to make an apple pie. First, we need to cut the apples. Hmm, do you know what we can use to cut the apples? But, but guys, this is an, um, this, this longer of a video. Bye bye, guys, and, um, yeah.